Hello, welcome to another few minutes with Beep. Uh, this week we're going to play around with a new oscillator called the Car Plus oscillator. It uses the Car Plus strong algorithm to uh, basically create string like sounds. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to explore it in a couple of ways. First of all, we're going to start off by just making a simple patch that uh, allows us to explore what the sound of it is. So, I'm going to use the global transport. I'm going to take uh, the metronomic pulse. I'm just going to use a standard metronomic pulse <clears throat> to trigger the car plus trunk. So what happens here is you trigger this, it excites a delay line which gives you a string like sound. Um, I'm going to do a couple of other things. First of all I'm going to grab the ladder filter so just in case we need to tame the sound a little bit we can. And then finally I'm going to take the output. Uh, I'm going to use the stereo output Take the outputs of this, and you can hear right away, uh, there's my sound. Now, first of all, one trick. You notice how it sounds like occasionally it's skipping metro values? For some reason, when it's set to 10 millisecond gate length, it has a tendency to do that. I find that if I just change this to 20 milliseconds on the metro, on the metronomic pulse object, it all of a sudden works a ton better. So anyway, there is our basic patch. We have a global transport driving this metro thing. It's running car plus strong. It's running through the ladder filter and then we get to hear it. Now a couple of things. First of all, first of all, you'll notice that uh, our filter, when we open up the filter, we hear a much more significant sound. So we're gonna open this up just so that we can hear the car plus strong algorithm in action. Next, we're going to play around with some options. First of all, notice how changing this, using this little uh, screen, I can actually change the way that the algorithm responds to a trigger input. This is basically designing the impulse that's used to drive it. And listen what happens as I increase the size of that. So I can use this designer area to tweak the function so that I actually get the sort of string, plucked string sound that I'm expecting. Next of all, we have these two things. Dampen is the amount of feedback dampening that occurs. Decay is the amount of decay time that's expected. If we tweak those, we can kind of hear each one has a different effect. So let me turn this on and just play with those a little bit. So you notice that the decay function has a really extreme effect on how much decay there is in the sound. The dampening has more of a sonic characteristic change to it. So between the two of those, you have some interesting ways of tweaking the sound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this basic structure to create sort of an interesting sequenced pulsing sound that has some variations. So we're going to start off by driving this thing with a pitched sequencer. So I'm going to unlock my patch, go to beep options, go to sequencer, pick my um, sequencer object. It's a big one. I need to move all this stuff over. And there's my sequencer and uh, I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to wire my trigger output of my metronomic pulse to the trigger input of the sequencer. I'm going to lock my patch and change it to go from transport driven to trigger driven just so that it matches, uh, it more directly matches the output of my metronomic pulse. <clears throat> Once I turn the DSP on, I'll see that it starts tracking along with the glo global transport. It's driven by that trigger, so if I slow down the trigger, it, uh, it stays locked to that thing. And I'm going to just kind of like 
bury the pitches a little bit. And finally, I'm going to take the CV output of this and run it into the one volt per octave input of the car plus oscillator. Now I'm going to tweak the pitches to be stuff that's maybe a little more interesting. Now I can kind of tweak my car plus strong settings to be what I like. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play around a little bit with the filter, just tighten things up a little bit. Okay, so now that I have this sort of basic setup, I have a little pitch sequence going into the Car Plus Strong. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually use this sequencer to drive some basic changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of randomize that decay setting. I find that, the, that moving that decay setting around a bit actually makes for some really interesting results. So if I go to the random section, uh, the random category in the beat menu, and I get this uh, Gaussian noise. Gaussian noise takes a trigger input and then basically gives you a scaled uh, noise, sample and held noise output. So basically the idea is you take a trigger in, you get a signal out. That signal out is uh, sort of like a held random value that uses the Gaussian distribution in order to uh, come up with the values. So in this case, I'm going to now tie it to this decay CV input of my car plus. Let me lock things up and get it running again. Now what I have to do is I have to turn up the CV amount and its effect on the decay. I just tweak the decay a little bit, tweak my CV amount a little bit. Now I get some nice variations in the sound. That's really great. That's the kind of thing that I'm looking for because it gives me some nice variation on the sound. Now, it still doesn't sound very synth-like, and for that matter, it doesn't even sound very cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use some standard synth functionality to just tighten the whole thing up. And I'm going to do that by basically having uh, two envelopes and a VCA kind of perform the standard enveloping of the filter and enveloping of the uh, volume output before it goes to my stereo output. So let's do that really quickly. Go to envelopes. I'm going to use the AD uh, envelope, which is the attack decay envelope. It's a real simple envelope to use, but it's one that's pretty... Uh, pretty useful in these kind of situations because basically it takes a little trigger and then it'll attack and then go into a decay characteristic. Next I'm going to just snug my output over a little bit and I'm going to go to the level category and grab a VCA. There we go. Now I'm going to just kind of repatch things. So again, uh, if I hold option and drag over the patch cords, I can select them to get these little handles. I take the output and move it to the output of the VCA. Go from the filter into the VCA. I'm going to take the signal out of one of the envelopes, have it go into the CV input of my VCA. Have the other envelope go to my filter. I'm going to drive both of these with the trigger output of my metronomic pulse. I'm going to lock my patch and see if it sounds like anything. Not much, and the reason is because by default uh, these envelope settings aren't really useful for a, a triggered input. But if I drop the attack time, and if I increase the decay time, now I have sort of the prototypical 
have the sort of typical sound of a uh, sequenced synthesizer. I'm going to speed this up to 16th notes. Now you hear that variation that comes on the decay time of the car plus strong thing. It's really pretty interesting. The next thing we're going to do though is we're going to kind of fine tune these envelopes to get a nice uh, a nice kind of thumping sound. So first of all I want to get my output envelope uh, and VCA combination working tightly together. All right, that's a nice little tight sound. Next, I'm going to use this other envelope that's driving the filter. I need to turn up the CV amount and turn down the frequency. And let's listen to hear um, how we can vary the filter using this envelope to get a little nicer synthesized sound. Kind of a key trick is when you're using two envelopes, make the filter envelope decay a little faster than the envelope for the VCA output because then you kind of hear the filter shutting down before you hear the VCA shutting down. So now we're getting kind of a neat sound. And those variations of the decay time on the car plus strong thing um, don't come across as big buzzy changes, but instead of more slight variations in sound, which is actually musically really useful. Alright, now finally, because I always enjoy doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the effects section, grab this thing called the sync delay. What the sync delay is, is it's a time synchronized or tempo synchronized delay. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to actually option drag across these patch cables and just get rid of it. Instead, I'm going to go from the left output of the sync delay to the left input of the output. And similarly, the right output of the sync delay goes in the right input of the output section. And then the VCA goes into both inputs. This is going to give me the chance to have sort of like double synced delays. So now let's lock the patch, turn things on, and hear what we have. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now what I need to do is drop the feedback down a little bit. mix a little bit and just kind of go for uh, look for the kind of sound that I'm looking for here. Uh, there we go. An eighth dotted and a quarter that sounds pretty great. Now I can just play around with my envelope settings. Changes to my car plus oscillator. Even changes to the sequence give me some really interesting results. Different pitches have very different characteristics. So with that, you can see we've actually used Beep to make a pretty complicated system. But this whole system is all based off of taking advantage of some of the idiosyncratic nature of the Car Plus strong algorithm and the Car Plus oscillator. Uh, the nice warm sound of the ladder filter, the cool beating of the sync delay, and the easy manipulation of these AD envelopes to make a really nice little sequence sound. Um, I hope that this was interesting, and I hope you take the time to dig around in this Car Plus Strong Oscillator and play around, find out why it, you might like it for your own. Thanks a lot, 
and you have a great day.